when we look at the alarming amount of views on videos on how to be confident. I think we can fairly say that we've witnessed a global epidemic of lack of self-confidence and chances are if you watch me, you are part of it sadly. So my goal is to help you break free from the need for self-confidence so you can move on and achieve whatever is in your heart. But before we get started, would you please do me a little favor and subscribe to my channel to help me reach my first 200 subscribers so we can empower more people in their self-confidence. Thank you so much. So why it's impossible to be self-confident? If you look at the definition of confidence in the dictionary, you need to believe in your qualities and capacities. So you need to know them and so you need to have proofs that you have already done the thing and that you have succeeded at it. But the problem is, I don't know you, but for me, belonging to that vulnerable species that the human being is, I have constant proofs that I am unable. From eating the wrong thing, to failing at my daily habits, to be single still past 30, and I could be a better friend, a better daughter, you know, like just thinking about it, I suck a lot, you know? And all those evidences, they tell, you can't, or rather, you could improve. And they have the ability to destroy your edifice of self-confidence, just as much as your victories and achievements have the ability to build it. And so you can see that through those pluses and minuses, those positives and negatives, you can't be self-confident. Which, when you say, I want to be self-confident, subconsciously you believe that you can 100% be self-confident, which is false. Because again, you have daily constant proofs that you suck. And so, when you face something that looks impossible in nature, what do you do? Do you persevere in it and endure unnecessary pain? No, you let go because this is the healthiest thing to do for your sanity and to free your way to success. I think the area in which I have never had to let go so much of the need for self-confidence is in business. And in general, when you start anything new, like you learn a new skill, you start a new job, a new hobby, you meet someone new, you don't know the thing. And so this could be source of insecurity and self-doubt. And it's particularly true when you start your own business. Because as a solopreneur, you need to manage everything. You need to be everyone at once. You need to be the accountant, the CEO, the salesperson, the social media manager, the supply chain manager, the, the customer support. And so there are so many things that you don't know about and that you need to learn. And so I think that you are never that much crippled by fear and self-doubt than in starting your own business. And it increases even more in the learning curve, as you are going to make a lot of mistakes, you're going to hire the wrong person, lose a potential customer, lose track of your posting schedule because you need to learn to match your perfectionism. And so daily, I face my incompetency, which is normal. And I have accepted it because I've never done the thing before. And so I end up with a bucket of evidences that I can't, honestly, I, I, I can't be an entrepreneur. But that bucket is so full that I let go of it. Because if I wait to get better at it, which I will through practice, but how long will it take? How many mistakes? And so I don't want to hold on too much to the need for self-confidence, that I make it a fortress and an impediment to my progress and ultimately success. So remove it, remove that cap called self-confidence, as virtuous as it sounds, to free your growth. Realize that your goal and so your progress matters more than your need for self-confidence. Make your target bigger than self-confidence to promote progress. In the end, the data that my brain collects is, girl, you've sucked. And you will always suck somewhere at one time or another because you are a freaking human being. 
there is always something to learn. Even when you have already done the thing, but you do it in a new environment with new people, new characters, new places that require adaptability to change and so a learning curve. And so yeah, accept that you will fail again, probably. Because the way you earn your first thousand of euros is different from earning your first million, which differs from earning your first billion. And in all aspects of life, also in relationships, in health, realize that you will probably suck again by extrapolation. So it's pointless to hold on to self-confidence. And so free yourself from it to free your growth and success. If you like this video, please like it and also subscribe to my channel because in the next video, we'll see how to build confidence beyond self-confidence. And meanwhile, go watch this video next.